bam. Welcome to the Problem Solving Power Hour. My name is Dan Schultz. I'm Dwight Gallowitz. And we are going to solve some what you would call problems. problems. <laughs> All right. Today it's going to be a special one because we are going to actually put somebody on a hot seat. And how, um, how do we actually do this? I have we no give idea. a link. Uh, his name is Scott, yes? Scott, yeah. are you watching the live stream right now? If you are watching, comment either in the Facebook uh, group in the comment thread, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can comment over on the YouTube uh, chat box, I guess it's called. Um, actually, you're probably watching by going to launchcard.com slash live. Um, and then... From there, you decide where you want to comment. You can comment in Facebook or YouTube. Um, hey, Carmen, how are you doing? Carmen, Carmen. is watching. Carmen, um, Carmen. So we're going to go over um, Scott's ads. And uh, Kevin is in Lansing, Michigan. Where is everyone? We should actually ask where people are. Because uh, a lot of those internet marketers do that. You ever notice? Where are you calling from? You, you, may, you say that like like you really want to know. I know. That's the thing. I, I'm on a need-to-know basis. Not just with this, with you, with actually uh, next door neighbor, uh, <laughs> with, with a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do a little bit of house cleaning here. Quick housekeeping. Don't know what it says. Want to get signed up to our uh, alert so we can tell you when we're doing these trainings. Uh, <laughs> just scan this code with your phone. That'll take you to a page where you can um, put your email address in your phone and we can text you or email you and say, hey, we're going live now. We're going to solve some problems. Um, don't actually know if the texts are going out or the emails are going out, but uh, I'm sure they will be shortly. There's a plan for them to go out, Dan. Come on. That's right. So scan that with your phone. All you have to do is open up your camera app, aim it, and a little thing will probably pop up that says open in whatever browser you use. Jimmy Costanza. All right. You are here, here Jim. It's all that matters, baby. Okay, so we're going to talk. Oh, we're sorry. here. That's what really matters. That's right. Um, so we are going to talk about Facebook ads, and I do want to see if Scott is watching right now. Mm -hmm. um, because the whole point of this is hot seat. We're going to put him on the hot seat. Um, yeah. And if and he is then, not did, here, uh, Facebook change a bunch of stuff again? Oh, it changes <laughs> stuff. You know what we've just been working on for the last hour. Sometimes it, listen, we feel for you. If you're having, if you're struggling doing Facebook ads, um, I'll tell you where we struggle. It's not like so much the running of the ad. Uh, let me, let me put this back up here for you, Carmen. Um, it's not to lean over so we can see your head, Gallowitz. There you go. <laughs> go half and half. Try to line your nose up. Look, the half. I got good and I bad. I my head. Now I got to go <laughs> this way. Look, hey, it's a full moon. It's a half a moon. <laughs> um, <laughs> So we don't have a problem actually spending money and running ads where we actually have the problem is how to figure out how to turn the GD ads on because Facebook changes everything all day. So we spent about four hours today looking for the pixel. Then we spent about 18 hours uh, looking for the, uh, I, mean, just, I don't know why they keep changing it. Why do they keep changing it? Well, they got to justify their 40,000 jobs they have or something. You know, instead of actually helping people, they just change the software. But why don't we do that? Greg asks us. Because we want to help something. people. We don't want to well, confuse them. We came <laughs> up with all these frameworks like 80 billion years ago. And have we changed them? Mm, no, really. Because <laughs> they work. Why are we? We don't need to make it better. I mean, sometimes we do like, you know, we are going to talk about Facebook because the, the Facebook algorithm changed and, you know, we do have to make some changes, but I am wondering, Scott is not here. So it's going to be very hard to put Scott in the hot seat. He doesn't comment and it's really hard for us to 
I know that the, the team was supposed to reach out to him and say, hey, make sure you're on the live because the boys want to go through some of the big mistakes that you're making doing the Facebook ads. But that being said, Plus, I wanted some clarification on like he sent us some videos, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to put his videos on because we don't, you know, I don't have permission for from him to show because it might show his website. It might show his products and stuff. So we don't want to want to do that. But, um, you know, like he's he's done some of the, like it's kind of funny, Dan, like when you say you 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 give instructions mm-hmm. on you know, what we do, how we do mm-hmm. it. And then you go, okay, now go out there and do that. And then they, they go through the steps and they think they're doing the step and they're really close to doing the step, but that's not what we said. That's not what, right. You know what I mean? Like, so it just, it's very, Jim, okay. Okay. Good. This is a good point. <laughs> um, Scott, if you're watching, we're not going to ream you. We really do want to help you. Um, and I will say this, going on a hot seat, uh, it takes uh, it takes some uh, balls because you could get reamed. We're not going to ream you, though. I mean, not gonna you. You, here you might help. be slightly embarrassed at, yeah. you know, when we say, you know, this is what you said was following our instructions. Well, what we actually said was this. And then when we show you, this is what we meant when we said it. Yeah. You're going to go, oh, my God, I can't believe that it was so simple. Yeah. Right? You just get embarrassed. It's nothing. Dan's so, embarrassed all the time. I, I get embarrassed. Do I? I seem to have no shame, actually. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's where you and I are That's our superpower. We just zero Fs. Okay, okay let's talk about, Dan, let's, um, do you have uh, a... Uh, an ad account that we can go into and, and just kind of talk about audiences again, because, yep. you know, one of Scott's issues was the way he was selecting his audiences. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, and by the way, you guys, you've seen him commenting a lot in the group. If somebody wants right now during the live <clears throat> to message him or flag him in an ad and say, Hey, tell the guys you're on and we will get you uh, we can get him a link. He can come and join us on the show. Put them right on the hot seat. Uh, okay, so let me uh, get into an ad account here. Yeah. So one of the things that, that you know, when we talk about targeting, um, we like to target very specifically groups and, and target based on buyer um, buyer intent, right? So... You know, let's say you're looking at you're selling something related to dogs. You know, you got, you know, schnauzer T-shirts or something or like Don, Dan's got those ugly chihuahua, chihuahua, right. those chihuahuas. Right. Yeah. So you you don't want to pick chihuahuas because there's a million people out there that watch chihuahua videos because their friends got stupid chihuahuas. And then they send you these videos and you got to watch them because you know, like, okay, I'll watch a stupid chihuahua video or whatever. So Facebook thinks you like chihuahuas, but you you have no intention of buying a chihuahua t-shirt because you really don't like them. It's just your actions have shown Facebook that you might like them. Right. So we don't want to we don't want to use chihuahuas or dogs or, you know, even dogs by breed. Right. Because the issue. Hey, Brittany, the issue is not that there we want to get rid of the riffraff. OK, that's the people that have shown that they like something, but are not ever going to buy anything related to it. Right. So people that watch cat videos may not have a cat they're not going to buy anything related to a cat but they like seeing funny and stupid videos by dogs or cats whatever. Dwight doesn't like dogs he sent me yesterday he sent me a funny chihuahua picture he, I did. he has zero interest in dogs but Facebook because he sent me that they think oh my god Dwight loves chihuahuas because it had a picture of a stupid dog that looked just like one of Dan's dogs and it was really funny related to can't show that it's not safe for work but 
anyway, so we're though there's so many of those people that it, it skews your advertising. You can advertise to people that, but but the, the number of people that are not going to buy are, is too great for you to do that. So you have to target something where the interested person has some buyer intent, right? Yeah. So if you find a product, right, related to the industry, like a brand of dog food, right? Yeah. Um, uh, a brand of like uh, d dog beds or dog medicine or dog, you know, like there's all kinds of things that you could come up with. If you could find people that like that brand, those people are going to be potential buyers because yeah. nobody that doesn't have a dog and doesn't really like dogs is going to like Purina dog chow, right? Right. Not right. going to happen. I can right? give you another example. So I went to college in Green Bay, Wisconsin, right? I grew up in Wisconsin, went to college in Green Bay. Well, everyone in Green Bay has a deep passion for the Green Bay Packers. So because I, and I, you know, truth be told, I do like the Packers because I grew up in Wisconsin. I, that's why probably. Um but so when we would sell a lot of football stuff, we don't do it as much anymore, but we would sell shirts aimed at the um, Green Bay fans, you know, Green Bay Packer fans. So again, if we would have typed as the detailed target in Facebook, Green Bay Packers, well, pretty much everyone in Wisconsin are Green Bay Packer fans. Otherwise, they, I think they actually kill you. Like literally, yeah, I'm not it's, sure. It's the law there, I think. Yeah. Um, but does that mean everyone in Wisconsin is likely to buy a shirt? No, they're just, they're Green Bay Packer fans because they happen to live in Wisconsin and somebody they know has watched a Packer game once or they sent a funny picture of, you know, you know, Brett Favre doing whatever stupid thing he's doing. You know what I mean? So, so when we would be selling t-shirts, instead of picking Green Bay Packers, we said, well, where do people who are go to true Packer fans who like want to buy t-shirts go? Well, they go to this place called Fanatics. Fanatics is a huge website that all they do is sell sports shirts. So we would pick people who like, you know, who live in Green Bay and who like Fanatics because they're already the saying, is, I like to go there to buy shirts. What, what's the football stadium called? Lambeau Field. People that go that ha, that have checked into Lambeau Field, right, you're not gonna. Right. I mean, you're not gonna like Lambeau Field or be anything related to Lambeau Field unless you've gone to a football yeah. game. Yeah, right. Right. Sometimes Same you can, sort of thing. Yeah. But now, choose that for a dog. Choose that for a cat. Choose that for a nurse. Choose that for. a... You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, there's a lot of guys out there that like nurses, but is you know, not going to buy a nurse shirt, right? You know what I'm saying, Dan? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, up <the> top. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, so you got to find something related to the industry that is specific to the industry. Like, right. for, for example, golf. Millions of people watch golf on TV. But guess what? Right. They don't play golf. They're not going to buy golf clubs. They're not going to buy golf shirts. They're not that crazy. Yeah. So you got to find people that like Titleist like ping golf clubs like uh what's it uh, you know i'm not a big yeah. golfer you know but i mean yeah don't just put golf find the brands that are the top brands right that are. and and don't just put golf and don't just put tiger woods because oh yeah terrible terrible, like terrible watching party. tiger woods because he's a great golfer and he, he makes good tv right i mean so think about like really if we broke it down the most simple is the thing you're trying to sell, if you're selling mice, mouse, computer mouses, uh, find out where people buy computer mouses or brands of mouses that they buy, right? Yeah. And that's your interest. Doesn't matter that you're not trying to sell them a, a Logitech. You're going to try to sell them a Dwight's Mouse Company mouse. Yeah. But you want to be, you want to put yourself in front of the people who are looking for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so go to the targeting. That's one thing. The other thing. Um, related to uh, uh, the targeting is when you're combining 
or you're wanting to narrow down your, yeah. you know, your um, interest, right? So you may want to pick, um, uh, you know, like let's let's say, you know, you've come up, but one's not as specific as you would like, but it gives you a lot of people. Okay, right? so let's say we are doing, uh, we make t-shirts for Chihuahua lovers. So first, of course, here's where a lot of people go. They just are going to put dogs. Dogs. And you can see dogs. I'm going to scroll over here. Oh, see right to the right of there, you see it says 491 million to 578 million people. Facebook Too says, many. you know, Facebook says 578 million people like dogs. Well, I don't doubt that because pretty much everyone does like dogs, but again, they're not going to necessarily, necessarily buy, but we're not selling to dog owners. So let's say Chihuahuas, Chihuahua, Chihuahua, dog, not the state, the dog. Now we're at 5 million mm -hmm. uh, to 6 million. You guys see that over on, in the size on the right. That's there? right. I see that. And that's still too many. But it's way better than dogs. It's way better than dogs. Yeah. Okay. So. So. So let's pick Chihuahua. But now we want to narrow it down based on a buyer intent, right? Yeah. So what would we do? Would we just add the other buyer intent in here and assume that Facebook is gonna? Um, well, so let's watch what happens it. when we do that. We are right now. It where is the number? Here it is. Right over here. Uh, based on our budget or the, the 18 to 65, we're not actually doing anything, but according to Facebook, everyone aged 18 to 65, all genders, um, there's 228 million people who say they like chihuahuas. Yeah. Okay. So now let's say we are going to add, um, what should we add? Uh, um, dog food add a food. dog food brand. Okay. Let's just say Purina. Dog food. I'm going to add that. So we are at right now 228 million. And now we are, well, we're still at 228 million. Now the reason behind that is pretty simple because. That's demographic work employees. That's not. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. For Purina oh. up there. Up, up, oh, up. Here it is. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, oh, let me, uh, let me go dog food here. Dog food. Right. Pedigree. Pedigree. Okay, let's go pedigree. Okay, so it says 241,000. Well, what, why is this happening? Because we're still at 228 because basically everyone... That's 228 million, though. Yeah, 228 right. million. So that 241,000 didn't change it. It actually, if there was anybody that likes pedigree foods, was added to just the Chihuahua. Right. And we can even keep going. Well, let's hit another suggestion. I doubt very much. Here's Royal Cannon. Probably not ever going to change. We can just keep adding Purina Dot, right? See this? This yeah. is all the same. So yeah. but why isn't it narrowing down? Because you're not in the narrowing down the audience section. So now I'm going to get rid of all of this. So now right what, instead what we want to do is we want to hit narrow audience. Right? I'm going to hit narrow audience. And now I'm going to type dog food. And I'm going to pick one. Go gravy train. Here's another tip. Don't go gravy train because gravy train's low end. I mean, right. not just because I love dogs, but you don't want to go after the low end. You want to go after the people who pay a little more because they have more money. So pedigree. So now look at this. Now we dropped. Now we're at 1.3 million to 1.5 million. So now, now we're saying, you're right where you want to be. So what now are we saying? Right there, where right? you want to be. We're saying, and show what me all people who say they love chihuahuas and also love pedigree pet foods because they're just literally raising their hand. Now, the only people, now, if you don't like dogs, you won't give a rat's ass about pedigree dog food, right? No. No, why would true. you? Okay. So this might be um, an ad that we would run and we'd set our budget for something small, regardless. I don't know what we're selling, but we just want you to kind of think, if you see up here, see it says, uh, I didn't name this yet. It says new sales campaign. So that could, for example, say Chihuahua t-shirts. 
Okay, that's the name of our campaign. Then there's a thing called an ad set. That's what we're working on now. That's where we're telling, we're, hey, in this ad set, we're trying to make a group of people aged this and this, who have this sex, who like these interests, but also don't like these blah, 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 right, right? We're kind of telling Facebook what we want. And then after that, we'd go and make an ad. And the ad is going to be a picture of the Chihuahua shirt with a link, go here, buy this, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're kind of going fast, but we'd hit save and then we'd, we'd be done, right? Well, maybe. What if this doesn't work? Or what if it really does work? Well, if it really does work and we're spending $10 a day, me and Dwight are going to want to spend a uh, thousand a day. Yeah. Because then if it works and every time we run this ad, we make money, even if it's just like we spend $10, but we make, you know, $1 in profit, like after all our expenses and we still made a dollar, well, that would be like us walking down the street and we see a dollar. We're going to bend over every time. And we're two fat, lazy guys, but we would bend over, right? Mm -hmm. We would bend over every single time we see a dollar. So we would... <clears throat> We'd want to say, well, if $10 makes us $1, $100 will make us $100 or whatever, right? So we'd want to be able to know which ads we'd want to see. 100 make us 10, 1,000 would make us 100. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Now, um, so this may or may not work. If it doesn't work, meaning if we spend 10 bucks and it doesn't work, we just turn this one off. And what would we do next? We'd try different target. targeting. We'd suggest go Royal Cannon and we're going to delete this one. So now Chihuahua is our main, you know, that's the dog breed we're going after and Royal Cannon. Spend 10 bucks. If it works, great. If it doesn't work. And now we, you're at 42,000. Is that what it says? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 42 million. Right. So that, again, like it's, you know, you're yeah. just kind of narrowing it down. Now we could narrow, look, that might be even too much, which I think it is. So let's narrow further. Um, oh, I guess I could actually be up here and narrow further, right? I'm going to go suggestions and let's do Hills Nutrition. No, I uh, went the wrong way, didn't I? <laughs> I did. Yeah. It's, it's confusing. You, you got to go down, hit that narrow further. Yeah, here we go. And must also match... Um, Dog food. Let's find the one we're doing again. Let's pick another one. Uh, wellness dog. Okay. See, now we're coming way down. Now it's only 150,000, but we're saying that 150,000, these people love chihuahuas and they've actually tried Royal Cannon and wellness natural dog food. Right? Now, those people love their dogs. Yeah. Now, do you even, you could even go, what you could get rid of this and you could just say, let's go. Well, we have a dog food. Well, what else do dog people have to buy? Um, I, I know it, it leashes. I know oh. we buy uh, urine smell removal. Is there anything in there? No. Um, leashes. And you just start searching until you find something that pops up right here, leash. Whoop. That's wise. Again, we're saying, show me everyone who loves chihuahuas and who loves this pretty expensive dog food and who also likes leashes. 38 million people. Now we're yeah. getting to the point where like, it's, it's, it is good to go broad if... Well, broad isn't really the right term, right? Right. It's like you want to get the biggest audience, but you want that audience to be a big. But you audience. want it to be very targeted, right? You want it to be very specific and know that you're actually reaching people that are interested in what you've got and are the potential buyers. But that's why we're using potential, you know, buyer intent interests, right? Dog food. You don't like dog food because you like dog food. You like, like dog food because you got to buy it, right? You don't like leashes because, oh, I think I just like to look at pictures of leashes. No. Big no, fan of leashes. Don't. And if you do, there's something wrong with you. But <laughs> you've got to buy leashes for your dog, right? So buyer intent 
um, interests are very important when you're combining uh, to get the to get the audience interest that you're looking yeah. for, right? So that was one of the mistakes that that um, uh, Scott was Scott, right? Scott, yeah, yeah, was doing when he showed us the videos, right? Um, so before we move on to the next step, think about the next step, right? Do you guys have any questions about what we just went over? Because it's kind of key, right? Um, people make uh, Facebook ads really hard, but it really does come down to kind of that. Um, and then it's just how much money you can throw at it because ad costs are going to go up and down. Um, and it's just like, you want to make sure at least your audience is narrowed in. And then when you think about it, if you like, for example, if you've been in any of our challenges, you know, when we sell something, we usually know it's probably going to sell because we use data. We go to Amazon and see if something similar is selling. If it is, we try to find something similar that we can sell, right? And then, so that's part of it. If you take that product that you know is going to sell and you put it in front of the right people, which is what we're talking about here, the dog food, you know, Royal Canaan, blah, 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 blah. Well, and you, you, so you're taking the product, putting in front of the right people and boom, a percentage of them are going to buy. Now, what happens if these people don't buy? Well, we already know the product is selling based on Amazon data. Well, what does it mean? We put the right product in front of the wrong people. So we get those wrong people out, bring in the next chunk to see. And we're spending to solve for this X, like who is this? And that's what Facebook ads is all about. Yeah, and you can go deeper. There's a lot of stuff that you have to kind of take. You can do video ads, you can do engagement ads, all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sure what you mean, Carmen. Uh, Kevin says, keep it simple. It is, it, it can be simple. Doesn't mean it's easy. I mean, what do I put in the search engine to get that page? Oh, do you mean, okay, I, I'm assuming you mean this. Uh, so in Facebook, see like here, here is the campaign level. Let's just call this, you know, Chi Hua Hua t-shirt, okay? Um, this is just all stuff you don't really have to worry about. So I'm just going to name the campaign Chihuahua T-shirt. I'm going to come over here and it next. Now we're going to be in the new sales ad. We're going to call this. Um, this is where Dwight and I usually will name the ad set, whatever uh, this stuff is. So we'd yeah. say, you know, like, you know, the Hua, Hua plus, um, you know, uh, arena one or whatever the dog food is or whatever you know or plus two of them or whatever plus leash right like we're yeah. just so when we come back we want to know what we're looking at okay um so now we got all of that stuff kind of done and we set our budget here it's 20 but you know we'd set that at 10 or whatever your budget is uh we're not going to change any of the stuff we always just want to start when we can we never put an end date because we just, we rather just want it to run or, forever if it's profitable yeah and before an end date, it'll end. You choose your age. You know, I mean, that's kind of, you have to know who your audience is. I mean, something like this. So it'll probably work because 18 year olds have dogs and 100 year old people have dogs, you know? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to come down here. Boom, boom. Uh, these are estimates, but it's saying if we spend 20 bucks a day on those keywords, we'll probably reach four, 482 people to, you know, 1,000.4 people. And we'll... This is, don't really pay a ton of attention. Don't buy it, just ignore it. It's never. Yeah. Now we're going to hit next. Now the next thing is we're going over here to the ad. So now the ad, let's say this is going to be, you know, uh, um, little kid playing with Chihuahua. I mean, what, whatever, um, but whatever our ad image looks like right or it could yeah. just be um blessed uh chihuahua right? let's say we have a, a 
you know, a shirt that says bless trial owner. That's the shirt we're going to do. So we're just going to call it that. We're going to pick our page. We're going to come down here and we're going to create our ad and we're just going to start building our ad. And I don't, we, we don't really have any creative setup to do this. So we don't necessarily have to do that because today we were just mostly talking about. We just wanted to talk about the targeting because that was the part of the stuff that Scott was having um, um, issues with. Now, one of the other things that, you know, um, Scott was, was asking about was related to finding the product on Amazon, like a design that sells and then going to creative fabrica Okay. And getting um, a design and then advertising uh, to the, to the t-shirt or the product to get them into the funnel or, you know, um, if you're running funnels or direct to the sales page, depends on what you are doing. One of the things, um, Dan, bring your thing up. Let's, let's quickly go through the picking of the, the product that sells. And then also picking the right design. And again, this is where Scott, in my opinion, was making a huge mistake. And you know us, we're always talking about t-shirts. It's but easy don't... to make that mistake. It is. Now, you guys know us as t-shirt sellers, but truth be told, we sell a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not just we sell a lot of stuff, like we different could... stuff. We could do this with this process. We could do with jewelry, with, I mean, anything. We're just looking for proof of sales right now. So all I did, dog owner t-shirt. You could type grandma t-shirt. You could type whatever. Whatever you're searching for. It doesn't really matter, okay? Now we're going to come down golfing. here. Yeah, Tennis. golfing, you know, whatever. Baseball. Now, um, we sold something similar to this, I was, except ours was cats. Remember doing it? I was normal three cats ago. Yeah, well, you were normal four dogs ago, but yeah. Now, what we're gonna do here, just because you see all of these shirts, doesn't mean they're all selling. All it means, yeah, it is doesn't mean they're profitable. Doesn't mean they're selling. It just means somebody has put them up for sale on Amazon. Right. Okay. And that's totally that's, it. That's, that's that means trick. nothing. So, for example, this one has 182 reviews. Well, you know, kind of on average. Um, uh, it, it's like, think about you when you buy something on Amazon, how often do you leave a review? Well, if you're like mm, most I people, never do. you know, maybe one out of every 10 people who buy, maybe, maybe, you know, um, so just these two sit happens versus the dog father. We can take a guess and say that 182 people like this one enough. And it's basically the same price that more people probably bought this one than this one because there's only 17 reviews here right now one one caveat that, that you got to do is also look to make sure that there's no trademark on thing yeah. something and I, because i think the dog father is actually trademarked so oh it is oh, I, I think it that. is yeah. hmm. why are you selling a dog father sure <laughs> perhaps <laughs> uh Anyway, it doesn't matter. I mean, if, if that's the one you want to, you want to, you know, check, let's, let's do the quick check to make sure. The dog father? See if it's trademarked or are we doing that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Are we kind of going all over? Well, it doesn't good. matter. I mean, the reality is we got to find a design on creative okay. fabric, right? So, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, let's say it's the dog father. Okay. Well, now, I, now you have me worried. Trademark. <laughs> See, he's got OCD. Once you get something in his head, he can't. How dare you? I'm going to go down here to USPTO.gov. I'm going to search our trademark database. Basic word search. Hello, Lisa. And I'm going to type right here dog other. I'm going to hit search. Is that one word or two? Uh, why did that happen? Reload. Come on. Trademark. Oh, did I just break the government's website? Yeah. He did something. Submit query. There we go. Dead live. So when it says live, the dog father, so there's a lot of live. It's it show lives. And now I'm going to hit this. Um, restaurant and bar services. Okay. Well, we're trying to sell t-shirts. So you can, oh, tuxedo. There's a, 
There's okay. more lives. Though, well, I right? wouldn't worry about that guy. I'm going to come down here to this one. Bourbon. Probably not selling booze. We're selling a t-shirt. I'm just going to keep coming down here to live. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Design plus words, letters, and or numbers. Other grotesque, including men formed by plants or objects. Monsters. Uh, that's, a, that's a specific thing. That's not it. Yep. And you just keep going down it's until. You know, show lives, so you only deal with the lives. Uh, entertainment services, television program, right? Yeah, well, can I just sell live? Can I show live? Is there a way to do that? I don't actually yes, know. There is. Yeah, there is. There was. And I just hit. Uh, yeah, yeah, just anyway, keep... you just keep going. Anyway, that's how you look to see if something is trademarked. But yeah. so let's say now we have to make sure we want to see if how many people, how many shirts this guy is actually selling. Just because 182 people left a review doesn't mean much because a guy could have 182 friends and he said, Hey, I'm trying to sell something. Go buy this. Leave me a review. So I don't gonna, know 182 people. I know. Uh, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to get this thing called the ASIN. And I just usually get it right up here. Uh, if you look up where you type stuff, it's either going to start with a W zero or a, um, or a, a, is it a, a B w or an X. X, X zero or a B zero. So I'm just going to copy this. And all this is just, it's Amazon's indexing number for this shirt. So I'm going to copy this, this ASIN, and we're going to leave the training. You guys can always come back to the training and see how we're doing this. Now I'm going to come over here to a free tool. You can go sell, go, uh, what is it called? Sell, go profit. I cleared all my cash, so I don't. I forgot what our, our software is. What is it? Sell go, <laughs> sell go. Here we go. Sell go dot com, uh, free Amazon estimator. So it's sell go dot com slash sales dash estimator. Now all I'm going to do, I'm going to paste that code in, and I'm going to tell it I'm not a robot, and it's going to search not today. And that person sells 86 t-shirts approximately every right. month on Amazon. Okay. Right. So probably three a day ish, right? Yeah. So if you're happy with that number, and again, this isn't like an income guarantee. This is all we're doing is we're saying we want to try to find demand. Like it seems oh. like this guy. So if this guy's selling 86 shirts and let's say he's selling $20 per shirt, that's, you know, a couple grand a month in sales this guy has coming in. Bucks, give or take, yeah. Right. So it's pretty cool. Again, not making an income guarantee, but at least no. this guy is getting that as opposed it's, to it's, another it's guy. Proof, it's proof of concept. It's proof that people are buying it. Now, I mean, we would probably look for something that's selling. Like if you're going to spend your time, spend your time on something that, you know, selling more. Oh, but, look at this. You know, How funny is this? Uh, same shirt ish. Right. ish different different thing over the words yeah copy but you could probably get away with the same kind of thing let's try this one so that's that one i'm gonna get rid of this search whoa look at this this guy's doing yeah he, let me grab my calculator here 265 times uh how much 19... is he selling for 1995 don't ever sell it for 1995 yeah. But let's use his numbers. Make the baby happy. Five thousand two hundred and eighty-six bucks in sales every month from one shirt. Yeah. You guys getting this? This is kind of cool, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's let's now let's have a look at this. Leave this up and let's go to Creative Fabrica, and we want to find a design that is similar and as closely similar as we can get. Yeah. This is a place where crafters come. Oh, God. Cancel, cancel, cancel. The dog father. Well, we already see there's a bunch of them on here, so let's just search. Now, we're going to try to get as close as we can to this one. It's the godfather quote with the guy holding a bone. I mean, it, you know, it's, it is what it is, right? So we're going to go try to find that. Okay. Oh, look at this. Here's, the, here's a chihuahua. 
Oh my God! Forget the Chihuahua. All right, so you Chihuahua. got the Godfather with the with the uh, paw prints. You've got the the Dog Father, you know, kind of with the paw print. The, the 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 lettering is not similar, right? The dog that Dog Father is very close. That other Dog Father is very. Well, I'll tell you, like, do you like what dog. they're doing here. I do dog. like what they're doing. Actually, it makes a lot of. Uh, so sense. you could get but, this one if you're selling a wiener dog this one if you're selling to whatever this guy's rottweiler yeah you can. this one if you're Chihuahua. but is the one with the dog shape selling on amazon right this is pretty close this is a bone that's with the bones and the, yeah so you want to get it as close to you know all of oh look at all these guys. They did I would test thing. this so fast it would make your head spin and yeah, we would we would test it for sure to see if it you know, has value. Golden, but retriever, again, yeah. but again. So let's keep going. I, like, there. Stop right there. See that one in the top, the right, to the right. 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 That, that is not the design to choose. Right. This one here. This. Do not get this. It's because not this similar. Does not look it's like this. Not, it does not look like that. Here you got a guy's hand holding a bone. You know, just because it has the same words, doesn't mean it's going to sell. Like this it's one, gotta have really a very cool. similar feel, look and feel as the original. Get it as close to the one that you've checked to make sure. And again, our so, good friend Scott went and you know, just because it has a burrito with a dog, doesn't mean it's similar to the one that's selling on Amazon. Right. Right. It's either. Yeah. Black, white writing on a black shirt with the little design over the right hand part of the dog father, you know, or whatever. Um, like that is very close to the other one, you know, that one I might try yep. possibly. Now you, you know? could also, here's another thing you can do. Now I'm going to go over here. We always talk about creative fabrica, but you know, we do Etsy too. I mean, it's the same type of thing with Etsy. It's a little different. We're going to come over here and we're going to type the dog father it, what happened to the typing the dog is the dog father one word or two one word, dog yeah. father now right see there. where it says svg i'm going to click that yeah. because svg is a graphic and we're going to try to find a graphic boom boom right here you have all these so let's take a look at this one this is two dollars and 70 cents all these little things around there are just on there so you don't steal it now, what we have to do is make sure that you can actually sell it. So you start reading around here. When Digital, okay. Let's see, term service sold for personal and commercial use. You may sell any items made using this, but you can't sell the image itself. Okay, you can't sell guys. a file. Yeah. You get this or one on Creative Fabrica. You put that on a shirt, and that is pretty friggin' similar to that. I would Very go with close. that. It has it has the same look and feel. So it's white writing on a black shirt, right? With a very simple design over the dog father, the words, the block letters. That's that's what you're looking for when you're looking yeah. to pull, you know, a design that's when I say a design that's similar to, I mean similar, very yeah. close. Yeah. Not just not just having two elements, not just because it has a dog on there and a burrito doesn't mean it's the same as the dog and burrito shirt that's selling on Amazon. Right. It has to be as close to the look and feel of the one that's selling. That's huge, hugely important. Yeah. Now what we would do, we would try this one. So we'd try this one, dog father. If we start getting sales, then we might say, could we're going to keep our ads on, maybe increase how much we're spending. As long as it's working, we're going to keep spending. Sales are going to come in. Now we have kind of a hit on our hands. Well, what are we going to do? Now we don't necessarily have to worry about the data because now we got a couple extra bucks floating in. And I'm going to say, let's just target chihuahuas and, you know, leashes and Purina one dog food, just like we showed you in the first step. But let's change the shirt out. Let's put the dog father with the chihuahua silhouette there. Let's spend five bucks, 10 bucks, because we'll already know, right? Yeah. We already have some ad audiences that are working. So if it works, boom, what are we going to do? Are we going to be done? No, now we're going to put a Rottweiler on there. We're going to do the same thing, except we're going to pick Rottweiler. And then we're going to pick, 
you know, retrievers and blah, 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 blah. So we're, there's ways you can grow a t-shirt business. You can go vertical and that's what that is, right? You find the key design and keep going. You know, you're not really changing anything except the image and the targeting. Does that make sense? We kind of going through this stuff too fast. We probably are. How can we find out how much the seller is spending on Amazon ads to promote the shirt? You just have to call Jeff Bezos and it's usually, uh, yeah, yeah, I got his personal it. number. Just give me a give me a ring, and I'll I'll get it for you. True or false? No. We Dwight and I did have Jeff's email address. That is true. We did. Um, anyway, it's actually uh, Jeff at Amazon. It really doesn't matter how much they're spending in ads. To be honest with you, yeah. If they're selling, that means people are buying. Whether it was from they're getting their placement up higher then they can do it organically with the search. It doesn't matter. That shirt gets in front of people that are searching for dog shirts, funny dog shirts, you know, Chihuahua dog shirts, whatever. If it is ends, in, ends up in the sponsored ad place and people see it, they love it, they buy it. That's all we care about. It's mm -hmm. proof of concept. We don't care how much they're spending in ads. Yeah. Um, yeah, that... That's totally true. Now, why we don't like selling on Amazon is because they would buy this shirt and then what? Well, maybe there'd be a people also buy and then they'd show someone else's product with it. Yeah. You know? Or you're right next door to the shirt that is almost exactly like yours. And that guy's selling it for five bucks less because he's an idiot. Yeah. Right. And so who's you got two shirts. They're exactly the same or very, very similar because that's how we do the designs which one are you going to buy you're going to buy the most expensive one no you're not you're going to buy the cheap one if that guy's willing to take you know only 50 cents in profit a shirt to sell on amazon all the more to him i'm not an idiot i don't sell like that wait andy do you mean you haven't been writing the exact words we've been saying this entire time because we're not going back <sighs> I hope somebody's been typing exactly what we've been saying. No, the the replay will be here. <laughs> Would it be funny? Like, no. Um, yeah, it, I think it'll be there. YouTube don't doesn't it automatically convert the? Yeah, I think YouTube might. Yeah. I think Facebook does too. You don't get customer data on Amazon. You get nothing from Amazon except a head. Nothing. You got to go to a third party that's kind yeah. of calculating it and using some mystical, you know, where do you get, where do you get, no one would be stupid enough to give you customer data, even though it belongs to you because you did all the work, the SEO, the marketing, everything to get your customers data. They're your customers who would be dumb enough to They're give you that them. data. Amazon doesn't say think that though. Greg Ryder will give it to you because he is that dumb. No, he's not dumb. He's smart. It's your customer. That's what it, the advantage is of selling on LaunchCart. It's yours. Everything is yours. YouTube does the transcript. Oh, but boom. Right. That's what I said. But you can watch the replay. Andy. I'm just, so smart. Just giving you crap. That's um, it. I think that is, those were the major mistakes that I saw okay. um, from Scott. some of the videos. I mean, there are some more. Um, I think, you know, like some of the strategies on the free social traffic we could, we could talk about, but we've done that in other videos. I will tell you the biggest thing you can do, and we're going to segue into the chairman special. Um, right now the chairman special is going on, uh, there are sales on every level of launch cart right now from the liftoff plan, which is really inexpensive to begin with, but you can get it for $13.97 a month. You should minimum be on that because you get to do more stuff with launch cart. And then there's growth, which is 65% off right now. Um, like what is it? 27, 23, 97. 65% off. And then scale is what me and Dwight use. It's normally $297 a month. You can get it for $43.97 a month. Now, why am I bringing that up? Because Scott, you just asked, are there transcripts and everything? Um, this will eventually be put into something called uh, Launch Academy. All of these videos, the Problem Solving Power Hour is part of the Launch Academy. 
Launch yeah. Academy is full of training wherever you get stuck. If you don't know how to use Pinterest, watch the Pinterest course. If you don't want to do Facebook ads, watch the Facebook stuff. If you want don't to even get think about it, writer. Here he comes. Don't even think about Look it. This. Here he comes. He had to get in. <laughs> don't you have work to do, CEO, <laughs> founder of Launch Card? But before you jump in, one of the bonuses me and Dwight are giving is a thing called Project Roadrunner. That is what um, people have been commenting on in the Facebook group, where we really go in depth on how to build an email list. And um, Scott was watching part of it, or maybe he watched some of it, and he thought, I'm just going to do this without the full training. This is a $1,000 course that we sell. You're getting it for free, and we go deep into everything in Project Roadrunner. Um, you're getting all this other stuff. If only if you sign up for scale, it is a fantastic deal. It is truly, truly a great deal. Greg Ryder, put your hands Greg together. Here he is. Make yeah. your league stud. You know what? Gregory, I, John Ryder. I've been busy with all kinds of stuff, but I, I had to jump in because I was also following these questions from Scott. And I happen to have a, a son, my youngest son, he built the largest YouTube channel for golfers in the world at one point. Like he was above Taylor, you know, I should say this, exclude TaylorMade and the big corporations, but he had the number one golf channel. So I'm real familiar with, you know, golf. You know, I'm a golfer myself and online. And and he took and he, and he watched your course, right? And he started to do the whole, I'm going to give away a divot. I'm going to, the first one to pick a number between one and 500 and do the divot mm -hmm. thing, right? Mm -hmm. And all I wanted to say was, I, I said, I just had to interrupt go, Scott, listen, Look, as a golfer, every serious golfer has a divot thing, every one of them. So why would I want to put a number in and to win a divot? I don't even know what you call those things. But you guys what I'm saying? I'm saying it's yeah. like that really wasn't the best product to use with that strategy, at least my opinion, because I'm a golfer. I probably got five of those in my bag. Now, if yeah. it had my initials yeah. on it or if it had Tiger Woods, if it was something special or unique, yeah, yeah maybe, right? Mm -hmm. So when you start running ads – and you're spending money to something like that, you really need to think through, whoa, whoa, whoa. who is my target audience? What's going to get them to move? What's unique about that? So um, yeah, divot repair tool. And, and you think about, there's all kinds of cool things out there. Like my son had this, he stopped because he had the YouTube channel. People are always sending him broad products. Right. And those little yeah. putting guide things where you get the putting guide and putting's a huge thing. And it's like, Oh, this is a unique guide that hadn't hit the market yet. So if you're going to build an audience in golf, then think about what's that product that would, yeah, I want to win that. Not a little divot tool. It's not, that's not it. I can, I can Right. It. And, yeah. and if you watch project Roadrunner, the, the, the lead magnet that we use in project Roadrunner, we're not going to say it here because you, you have to watch project Roadrunner to get it. Nobody ruined the surprise. But They're what so I'm saying I'm coming is, through this is, camera. it's universally accepted. Everybody loves it. Everybody wants it. And it's yeah. something that, you know, will help you build your list. But Greg's absolutely right. You know, um, when we were in the sports niche and we were doing all kinds of sport teams, you know, whether it was professional or, or college or high school or whatever, we would use, you know, like the biggest sports team in the region so when we were we would go and advertise in in uh, boston we would pick you know the boston bruins or the red sox we would pick red sox bottle opener right well everybody wants a red sox bottle right opener. this will blow your mind remember this guy boston bruins baby <laughs> so here's right? what we did now we were targeting boston bruins fans and we said we're giving this away now we'd literally, we're not trying to sell it. We're just saying like, if you're a Boston Bruins fan, you'd like this you know, can opener. And we just say, we're giving one of these away. We're not trying to get you to buy it, but this is kind of a cool thing. We said, if we're thinking of a number between one and 500, comment below with your guess. And then we would literally pick a winner and we'd go to Amazon, we'd buy $7. We put that guy's address in. We didn't really care about this part, but now we'd start to comment back and forth to their comments and get them on our mailing list and we could sell them more stuff. But this is different, believe it or not. I mean, you can kind of tell this is different than like what Greg's saying about like the divot repair thing, because they already have that, but they may or may not have this. This is like more of a fan based mm -hmm. thing, right? This is like, oh man, I like drinking beer and I like the Bruins, right? Yeah. It, so it's a little <laughs> bit different. Here's you another know, one we just did that Greg will remember this. Seattle, well, 
I was just going to say, <laughs> see, you guys taught me. And I remember I did the Seattle Seahawks branded uh, uh, crock pot. There you go. He's pulling it up. Where and, is it? And, and, I, and I'm like, you know, I did enter to win. Give me your email address. I did oh, pick a number it. and built a oh, huge God. list of Seattle Seahawks fans. Got to go for the, this guy. The I have the what's his name? Bob Ross. Ross. <laughs> Boy, where where is the us? Uh, well, okay. But right now, I guess they don't have any in stock, so we'd maybe give this away. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, it doesn't matter. I mean, even the but we did find sometimes, like let's say this was it here that you know, the, we'd pay fifty nine bucks. Ironically, this may or if, if this had the Seahawks logo, this may or may not work any better than the seven dollar bottle opener. No. In fact, remember when we tried to give away a jersey? Remember we did the oh. jersey and it flopped horribly? You mean the jersey that we got autographed that we bought? Yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. eBay? And it was like, there's no way, like the feedback we got was that this is not real. They're not giving this thing away. Like they're we, too good so to they be true. Right. They, it was too good, good to be true. They're not going to just for putting their email in or just for doing the thing. You're going to give me a, a $120 uh, football jersey with the guy's signature on it. Like, no way. Yeah. So it doesn't work. You got cheap is better. In my opinion, cheap is better because everybody's like, hey, it doesn't hurt. I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get a $5 bottle opener free and, maybe and let me make one more comment and i'm going to get out of here but and maybe you guys cover this did you cover the name of the facebook page no so scott 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 started out with his facebook page called golf products by launch cart so first of all launch cart from a branding perspective and a corporate perspective we don't even allow that like you can't use our name in your advertising right. secondly it's not going to help you to say golf products by launch cart so think about the logic of this for just a second when i coach people on setting up facebook pages and the name of their page i want to think about if i'm coming out there as a corporation and Obviously, I'm trying to sell something. I'm trying to get something, right? So, so you're less likely to do it. But if I, and again, you guys taught me this. I remember I created, I use the word fanatics and a lot of stuff. So I said golf fanatics. So if I create a fan page for golf fanatics and I start getting all kinds of viral golf videos and posting it on my page and people start clicking, I'm a golf fanatic and liking this thing. I've attracted the ideal audience that I want. People that love golf and that have self-declared themselves as a golf fanatic fanatic or a golf lover or a, think about a cat lovers and dog lovers or yeah, they're lovers. identifying themselves into a tribe and that's right. your job yeah. is to find that tribe that's really great yes yeah. so by that's just changing true. the name of the ad i mean of, of the page you, you and every and again going back to like rescue joe like our coffee brand like that's kind of a different name that's the company name that's the product name that's website name but also it's talking about rescue jo rescue dogs and coffee so it's a little bit different but again I can say print on demand sellers and attract print on demand sellers and I can have launch cart sellers and which one's going to get more likes and more followers print on demand sellers. And it's highly targeted for print on demand sellers. Yeah. So I think that's super important that, that everybody understand when you start yeah. doing these tactics, you start setting up your, your little brand. It, you might say to yourself, Oh, I want to just have my store name as the page name. In some cases that may work, but in a lot of cases, no, Figure out who your ideal customer is, who your avatar is, and build a fan page that attracts them like a magnet. And then you typically can go find uh, – I'll give you another example because I'm a hang glider pilot, right? So if I have San Diego hang gliding, do I really want to follow San Diego hang gliding unless you live in San Diego? Probably not, even if you do live in San Diego. No, but if I go, I love hang gliding, every hang glider in the world wants to like, I love hang gliding. Yeah. Right? And it I doesn't matter product. that I love hang gliding page is selling a specific product. It's not, it's, it's not branded as the, I love hang gliding can koozie. Right. Right. It's just, it's a cool design, a cool product. And that that I, audience think, would like. I think when you do it that way, you as the, the page owner, it, it golf fanatics, hang gliding lover, whatever. And you start putting all these viral videos on there for your niche. Then you come out and go, Hey, I came across this great product. And it's got this cool blah, 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 golf. Check it out here. Now it's like you're the page owner and you're not like selling yourself. You're selling somebody else's yeah. stuff and you're going to get higher click through rates and higher stuff like that as well. So Good stuff. Absolutely. That's my stuff. Cut it out. Sell it. Send it to somebody. I'm out. <laughs> he says he's out, but is he that coordinated? I still see him down there. <laughs> Will he be able to figure it out to leave? See, he's sitting there. 
Took him 10 minutes. There he goes. <laughs> How great was our meeting today, Dwight? Every yeah. meeting. This is great getting onto a meeting. <laughs> I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Or we can hear him and he'll be like this. Hey, guys, I can't hear you. Ah, and then swear words come out. I can't. <laughs> anyway, um, great stuff. Uh, again, go here. Whoop, how, why, why did this go? Oh, I want to make it smaller. so You can see us. Um, Project Roadrunner, $1,000 thing you get for free if you sign up for the scale. You get $43.97 a month. It usually is $297 a month. You have unlimited everything, pages, funnels, flows, excellent training like Project Roadrunner, no product, no problem. Another thing we just that we put into this, Dwight and I did. Um, anyway, you go here, you, you just log into your store and you upgrade or you just go to launchcart.com slash pricing. It's the easiest way to do it. You'll be grandfathered in, meaning if you go in now while the chairman special is going on, you're going to be paying $43.97 forever. Even when in, we say, we keep adding stuff over and over, more and more and more stuff when the sale's over and you want to come back in, it's 297. So get in now. And that's the same for all of the platform or all of the levels 1397 for growth or a uh, liftoff 2397 for growth 3397 yeah 4397 yeah so it's uh awesome awesome guys take advantage of that if there are no more questions oh uh do you recommend Carmen's a gotta go it's over baby bye Carmen. Carmen's gotta go it's over baby <laughs> okay um do you recommend a CAS or a contest SAS tool that works with LaunchCart? Um, no. Not as one that is, that is integrated, but in all seriousness, like ours isn't integrated. The uh, Project Roadrunner, it's just easy to do. I mean, it's just easy. That's kind of a cool, that, that is a cool contest way to do it. The best. That's right. Yes, we invented it. Yes, we're biased. Yes, we're great. Everyone knows we're great. 